I think the most important traits for a leader to develop uh, are to first of all recognize that there's not one kind of a leader. You've got to embrace and recognize that there's a lot of different skill sets, a lot of different types of qualities that make people great. But I think the things that help to enable that are strong listening, strong understanding of what makes your people tick, how are you building their careers, what they need to do, and how are you building a team that isn't like you. So diversity in skill sets, hiring people that are smarter than you, that have specialist skills that are different from yours. I think all of that makes a whole team. I think strong leadership is about being inclusive and really spending time and putting the effort into understanding what that means, advocating for people, having confidence in what you do so that you can lead with confidence and vision. I think all of those are important to being a well-rounded leader that stands for a lot, but mostly they're people. Do you think that companies still expect different things from women leaders than they do men? I do, I think, I think we see it. I think it's a very real dynamic that continues to exist. I'm lucky enough to work for uh, bosses and management teams where I feel like I have strong advocates in the room. I feel like I can advocate for, advocate for myself. Um, but that hasn't always been um, that way in my career. Um, I definitely see uh, a reality in the pay gap, the, you know, the gender gap is real from a compensation perspective. I'm a big advocate for ensuring we pay for the work, not for the gender. I, um, I had a point in my career where somebody said to me, oh, I assumed you wouldn't want the global promotion because you have kids. And that really um, was a point I will never forget. And I um, am glad that I charged ahead and, and now have made it a point to advocate for women uh, in roles like that. But that's just one personal example. Those kinds of things continue to happen. So I think it's important to recognize um, that that is a reality and we have to continue to work hard to create equality. Do you have any thoughts for how women might navigate those differences? Yeah, I think you have to advocate for yourself just as much as building your internal network of advocates. Uh, so finding that network is extremely important, but being brave enough to advocate for yourself too is extremely important. And I think uh, other women and other men give you that motivation. Um, you know, the people who are mentors and the people who surround you and, and build up your confidence are those people that you can get that energy from. My last question for you is in, in, in light of your journey to, to your leadership mm -hmm. role um, and, you know, what's the most important piece of advice you, you would give to your younger self? I would say, um, go for those promotions and that advancement earlier in your career. Don't be afraid. Don't ever think that you're not ready. Don't think that promotions and advancement is about a time. It's about a capability. It's about leadership. And I think at certain points in time, I kept saying, oh, I'll focus on that after I have kids. Or, oh, I need to get through this moment in time before I think I'll be ready. I think you're ready. And as young men and women um, early on in your career, go for it. Uh, so I think we need more of that in the, in the workforce. So that's what I would say to my, my young self.